Go straight for two blocks. How many drinks you have? Seven. Oh, and two shots. Sixteen. But we count now, that's what we do. Sixteen, you had sixteen shots. Who drinks like that at brunch? And don't give me none of that functioning alcoholic bullshit. That's what tore our marriage apart in the first place. Oh yeah, that's what tore this marriage apart. I spent two years trying to save our marriage. You named one thing I did wrong. Adultery. Water under the bridge. Now, for the last time, sign these papers. Oh, no, Sam, the goddamn paper down. You won't be signing these papers. Here's my signature. Here's the dotted line. Ah, mm. Mm. These ketchup. How was I ever supposed to find you? Finding you was the easy part. The hard part was working for Uber for six months. You see, the app matches you with the nearest passenger. I could have picked up anybody. Did I ask you how Uber works? Anybody who was around before the year 2012 know how Uber works. Some call it Uber. I call it strategical patience. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Do you want one star? I will give your ass one star. Hey, man. Uh, turn right here on Beachwood. Uh oh. He don't remember why his marriage fell apart, but he remember how to get home. I'm gonna need both of y'all to shut y'all asses up. Uh, 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 take whatever you want. Go, go do something. Figures. All his ass know how to do is run. Shoulder in that left hook, all right? Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you swing. Hey, Pat, take over real quick, man. Right. Yeah, Bob, what's going on? Yeah, he got away. Wait, so we're not working Uber tonight? Nah. I got something that'll make cold slaw come to us. Whoa. Oh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> we were just supposed to train him, man. He's dead. These are. What are we doing? I'm gonna need you to move up. No. Well, I can't keep the gun on you with you in the back seat. Drive backwards. That was my plan all along.
Rose. Mr. Santiago is online, too. Hello, this is Rose. May I help you? I'm looking for a three-bedroom home. A uh, family home? Nah. I want a home that inconspicuously doubles as a water tower after I get the access codes to the water supply. Okay. And I want to be on the beach. On the beach. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Congratulations. I hope you love your home. Oh, I do. I do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got to give you a key. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. You gotta have the key, right? You gotta have the key. God bless. Travis Santiago, villain, is brought to you by Rose Cervantes. Rose has a home for everyone. central issue with you is not letting go. Letting go is the recognition that, that that something is completing. And it's time to let go of something that you think defines you. Something greater is awaiting, if you will. Okay, so what you're saying is, is I need a new canvas, if you will. If you will. Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, that was Natalie's reading. Oh, come on, man. I mean, we get the energies are so close. You hear that, Natalie? You got to learn to let go. All right? Your past is burning bridges. We didn't tape her ears, man. If you continue to hold on to the box of memories, then you can't drink from the sparkling champagne of which life has to offer, if you will. You know, that was actually kind of deep, you know that? Yeah. What you got from me? Oh. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. well, what does that mean? Uh, Y'all tied up in knots from a uh, potential for an inner explosion. But then somehow, maybe you stop taking life too serious or something. Maybe you got wrapped up in a job that's, that, that doesn't really have a real purpose. Uh, do I have time to grow or? Yeah, I don't see no time nowhere, man. Mm. You must beware of the Hennessy. For your hourglass is draining. Is it full? Can, can I flip it? I mean... Oh, man, you can't meddle with the sands of time. Every ending holds a new beginning. Never forget it. E ending? Ending to what? Life, nigga. Life? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm going to die? How much time I got? Shit. Six hours. Six hours? I'm gonna die in six hours, man. Fuck out of here. Gentlemen! I think it's time we move on to phase two. Gentlemen! I think it's time we move on to phase two. Beware of the Hennessy. I, I don't even know what that means, man. I, I don't even drink. Coleslaw's not coming for her. And they're listening. Boys, we're being tapped. Get rid of the pizza.
the fuck? Hey man, that was fresh. Is that a pizza? This is all a ruse, and she's part of it. He said we're being tapped. Pizza was cold for something. No, nah, I was talking about the pizza. Papa John's tastes like priority shipping boxes. So what do you want us to do with it? Deliver the chopsticks, save the soy sauce for charity. You wanna play charades? Ship her arms and feet to her relatives. All right? Send her hair to the LAPD. Shave the hair and sell the hair to a Chinese merchant. And I was a little bit more direct. Oh, and patch. Don't make a mess. Hey, maybe we should hear what she has to say. She won't give up cold slaw. They're too close. You dropped him off at home. Nah, oh, she's got nothing. Shut her ass up. What do you think she meant by that? No matter. She just being cryptic trying to buy herself more time. I think she's saying you dropped Coleslaw off at home, boss. When Coleslaw left the car, did you end the trip? Yeah. That's because he left the dummy in his place. Did he give you directions? Yeah. Did you follow those directions? Some people prefer to give their directions to the driver using GPS. The right to choose is part of a five-star Uber experience. Jesus fucking Christ. Tell us where your husband is. Ex-husband. And yes, you dropped him off at home. We've been waiting for Coastal to come to us for two months. And you knew where he lived the whole time. The whole time? Nah, that's too easy. And why would he let me drop him off at home? Because he thought you were the Uber driver. He was so drunk he barely got in the car. I don't think he know we got a boss. If he doesn't know we have him, why has he been calling the phone so many times? Cornelius, when's the last time you talked to your ex-wife? It was about two years ago. But I'll try calling her every two or three days. Put the ham in the freezer and save it for Easter. Ah. Uh. Lock her ass up. We going to get cold slaw. socks over here. The ones with the purple kittens. I bought them for you on our honeymoon. Yeah. You forgot to pack socks and uh, I told you I'd never let you get cold feet.
little touch of the liquid white in with my titanium white. The liquid white will just make it a little thinner so it, so it flows a little easier. Liquid white, titanium white. Now maybe, now you gotta think like water. Maybe the water just comes right around here and it comes here and somebody has pulled the top off. It falls right off there. It'll come over. I'm gonna wait outside, guys. Uh, somebody should keep watch, anyways, you know? <laughs> Beware the hands. Hey, what time I got? Shit, shit. Six hours. Six hours. Six hours. So, you really think he has the access codes? Yeah, dummy. All detectives have access codes. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Gonna be interesting. Hey, you really shouldn't light up in somebody's place without asking. It's disrespect. Well, allow me to step outside. And you really should lie much money's back y'all without asking. It's disrespectful. Madeline. What the hell? Hey! Where is he? Hollywood real quick with my big boss Travis Santiago yeah my boy Cornelius we out here catching bodies catching bodies it's 6 30 baby and we out here catching bodies baby we already got hostages on, 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 on the couch he don't even know he a hostage yet because he ain't woke up yet ha yeah baby hard work don't play Hard work don't play. We been had that. Yo, man, shout out to Grave Digger. Shout out to Slay Man. Shout out to Rocks. All the motherfuckers in the penitentiary who couldn't even be here to do shit like this. Be you idiot. It's got to turn off the goddamn location settings. I only got nine followers, though. Now. <laughs> My partner, how was she, Frank? How was my wife? I got your ass now. What the hell with this now?
this. How does he even get to work? Probably wondering how we found you. Now that was. What you should be asking yourself is how could. See, I knew once we showed up, he'd be in no condition to drive. <laughs> and then that's when... She took that picture the day she moved the floor. She hated to see what I was becoming. She always said you can do a lot of good if you put your energy into it. Maybe I could be a podiatrist and help children, or a barista that makes robust coffee. Maybe even a masseuse. Ain't a masseuse a woman? Nah. Did you? You could be a male masseuse. Masseuse, now. A woman that provides massages professionally. Masseur is a man, with an R. Oh yeah, oh yeah it is masseur. I could have been a masseur. How she died. She's not dead. 
It says rest in peace on the picture. Yeah, she retired. Now before we begin, does anybody want to leave? You got this, champ. Bye, Slaw. Uh, oh, I'll stay for a little bit and see what's going on. Batter up. Huh, huh, huh. Neck of hips. What? Hips. He chose wisely. Hit me in the hips! You touch me again and I'll kill you. You touch me again and I'll... You touch me... You touch me... We just getting started. That all you got? Asshole coming in here like he's Steve Rogers. Now, I didn't want to make this personal, but we're brothers, so I guess everything is personal. Oh, hey, Natalie. I thought you blocked my number. I've been bound and gagged. I'm just glad you're okay. I've been hostage for two months. All right. That's considerably worse circumstance than I thought you were in. You could have hit me back, though. Is there anything you want to tell me before you give me the access codes to the water supply? All right. Two things are going to happen in the next 90 seconds, OK? First, I'm going to disarm your men and kill you with their own weapons. And second, they'll run. They always run. Is this the usual routine for you, detective? Ah. Story of my life.
We're not going to get to the garage from here. got hard. You weren't built for a life of crime, Cornelius. I can tell you that much. Unfortunately, I can't let you off that easy. See, this isn't a job you quit. You knew that going in. And now you know too much. Where does a man go after a life of crime? Does he start a family? Become a substitute teacher? Or does he become a traitor? You're a loose cannon, and I can't take that risk. Your double crossing ass night. Ready to chop. I'll take it. Do you have an account, or is this rental going to be charged to our credit card? Cash. Okay. That. What? They uh, do anything to you we need to talk about. I'm fine. Because if they did, you know, we can go back. 
they can get these hands. And of course. No, stop talking. Don't you ever think about how intercourse sounds like of course? Like intercourse? Of course. Get out! Get out! But you my sugar, snapple, honey twist, cream of wheat, butter, sugar, honey, suckle, oatmeal, raisin, twist, piece, biscuit. Oh. Lose my number. Don't call me no more. Bye. Story of my life. You didn't think I'd come back, did you? Man. You think you're better than me out here? No, 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 no. Think you're better than me out here? Sitting up here with your lavish hair and your, your blazer. Your blazer's not even custom. Straight off the rack, just like your face. And your lavish sunglasses that you're wearing all the time outside. And inside, who, who do you think you are? Good morning, Trap.